Thank you, Madam Timer. And um, perfect. Our second speaker today is Donna Caseborn. Donna's evaluator is um, is going to be um, is is going to be Sandra Savage. Sandra, would you like to introduce Donna's objectives for this speech? Yes, Pat. Donna is breaking the norm of standing while giving a speech and will be sitting down during her presentation of with the title of the value of total immersion in Toastmasters. And she wants us to look for feedback on how well she still connects to us while sitting and sharing her wisdom on time. Donna. Thank you, Sandra. Um, Donna is a DTM, completed over 22 competent communicator manuals. She served as a Pathways Guide in District 11 and has completed four paths. She knew from her, very, from her, various, from her first visit to a club that she wanted to join. Let's welcome Donna Caseborn, DTM, who will share with us complete immersion in the Toastmasters program. Complete immersion in the Toastmasters program, Donna Caseborn. General Evaluator, Toastmaster, Zoom Master, Speakers, Speech Evaluators, Table Topic Master, Table Topic Evaluators, General Evaluators, and it could go on and on. We need everybody. How many of you have ever watched the Price is Right. Raise your hand if you've seen Price is Right. They have one game on there where there's a scale. It's top bar and then two plates down there and they need to equal each other. I would like you to envision that scale. And I'm going to show you how we can use it in Toastmasters. But first of all, I would like to share my story so you can see why I'm so passionate about this and that I am knowledgeable in this area. I joined Toastmasters in 2007. I have gone on to be an area director six times, a division director twice, a pathways guide. I have mentored over 33 people. And now, I just found out in an email I was reading, I'm going to be the chairperson for our district's realignment for next year. So you see that I immerse myself in everything Toastmaster wise. Even for a bit, I got my husband to join one of my clubs. After a while, he said, no, it's not for me. I was not going to push him anymore. But let's go to that scale once again. And just think about it. It's out of balance right here. Imagine one plate is evaluators and the other one is speakers. We want to bring them back in to balance. And I share with you the value of speech writing and presenting is you develop more self-confidence, clearer 
communication. Now, if you evaluate, you have an increased self-awareness and positive mentoring. How many of you had your very first mentor in Toastmasters in your own club? Raise your hand if you had one in your club. Guess what? You're not going to need to necessarily have an individual in your club, but you can have a mentor outside of your club, outside of your district, and so forth. I have a mentor in District 1. I developed the relationship, which is another value of Toastmasters when you have to do things in small groups, you build that relationship. And we go on to really savor the flavor of building those relationships. So I share with you and ask you, if you have not given a speech yet in the club, please step up and give a speech and let's make that scale more in balance. Don't, don't leave all of the education achievements that we have to earn every year. Don't leave it on the officer's plate to do. This is not just the officer's club. This is all of our club. So I ask you, if you have not given a speech yet, Kathy Choice, Sandra, and Sandra, with you being new, you haven't had a chance yet, Lavinia, and some others. Will you step up and give a speech at the next meeting, which is the very first Friday? in April, if you will, can I see a show of hands? I see it, one hand, one nod. It takes all of us and we ask that we are all doing it because you learn from doing speeches and you learn from evaluating. They're equal. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Donna. Um, encouraging words. Our second evaluator is Sandra, who is going to evaluate Donna's speech. Sandra? Thank you. Donna, that was a very impactful speech. I love how you gave us the importance of both being an evaluator and a speaker, that it has to be in balance. And of course, you made a great connection to all of us with The Price is Right. You listed your credentials. That means I can say this, you can believe me. And being with all of the accolades that you have and being a mentor and the importance of mentoring. Excellent, excellent. I, I agree with you 100%. The one thing I think you did for me the, that I appreciated the most is the call to action. And not just because you picked on me, but 
we, it's really important in a speech to ask people to do something. Otherwise they're become, they become passive. They don't have anything to do. What am I supposed to do with this? They don't have an answer. Donna gave us multiple answers, multiple answers. And I also liked that you, you wrapped it all back around it all. It flowed like the, the wheel on the week before too. The only suggestion I'd have, and you know that you ran a few seconds over, just pick up your pace a little bit. Um, you use pauses effectively, but sometimes, well, at least for my kindergarten brain, if you speak too slowly, it goes off and plays in the playground. And I, and I don't keep engaged with you. And I think that's an important part of connection is keeping your audience engaged, call to action. And you also call people by names and that's all our favorite word, right? So that's my evaluation, Donna. I did think you did a great job with connecting in a sitting down situation, which we're all doing in Zoom. So this is a skill we all will be working on for years to come. Thank you.